So today we're going to prepare a fillet. So we want to take our fillet, season it. And by the way, when you're using sous vide, you want to make sure you're using the freshest ingredients possible. Because we're cooking at low temperatures, we always want to make sure our ingredients are as fresh as they can be. We're going to place the product in this, in this case, our Volrath in-chamber vacuum pack machine. For more information on vacuum packaging, please see us at volrathuniversity.com for our other videos on vacuum packaging. So let's vacuum pack our fillet. Okay, so now our fillet is vacuum packed. It's ready to be placed in the water bath. Okay, so now we're going to leave our, our tenderloins cooked for a little while here. I've actually got going to let these set now for an hour at this 138 degrees. We could also use a cook chill type technique. Let's say we were doing a duck. We could prepare our duck sous vide. We could then put it into a quick chill in an ice bath to chill it down, to store, and then at service to re-thermalize in the sous vide, place the item in the bath then just to warm it through or heat the product through. So in this case, the filet, we're gonna leave it in there for an hour to cook. Again, we could do something where it was more of a cook chill process so you wouldn't have an hour of cook time for service items. Okay, now our fillets have been in for about an hour. Let's go ahead and take a fillet out of the sous vide bath. Let's get ready to sear this now to give it that nice uh, color that we're all so familiar with. So to do this today, what we're going to do is put a nice carbon steel fry pan in a Volrath induction unit. I love cooking on induction as it's another very precise uh, method of cooking, very fast and efficient. So we're going to use a carbon steel pan to give this a nice browned exterior. Now we could also do this on a charbroiler. I'm going to add a little bit of oil here. If we wanted those nice markings that we get from a charbroiler, we could do this sear on a charbroiler. Let's just go ahead and use our saute pan here today. Nice hot pan. Get a nice sear on the exterior of this. Also, searing it helps raise the temperature of it. We're using low temperature cooking, in this case 138 degrees. Uh, most of us are used to receiving a steak on our plate that's a little bit warmer. So by doing this final sear, we're also going to raise the exterior of the steak temperature just a little bit. We're not going to really change the interior or the core temperature. We're just going to go ahead here and, and brown this up a little bit on the exterior. Okay. So now let's go ahead and just show you the advantages here of the sous vide. As I said, we had this fillet in the sous vide water bath for about an hour. We've just seared it. Now let's just to show you the advantages of sous vide after one hour's time. Just look at the interior of that perfectly done medium fillet. Okay, so we go ahead now and just plate this up for a nice dinner. And maybe use a little, some vegetables here that we've got prepared. Show you a nice plated sous vide prepared fillet.